Hello, this short little video is to accompany module 2 thread, the normal distribution, the little mini lecture that I did. In the mini lecture, there's going to be th I'm going to show you three ways of performing those calculations. One is using Excel, one is using StatCrunch, and this third way, which is doing it by hand using table 5, the normal distribution tables. So let's start probability examples. Let's be given that x is distributed normal 0, 2 and we need to calculate the probability of x is less than 2. Well, since x is distributed normal 0, 2, the first thing we have to do is perform a, tr a z transform. The reason we have to do the z transform is because we're using table 5. And the table 5 gives the probabilities and the z scores for the z distribution, or the standard normal distribution, which is just a normal distribution with mean 0, standard deviation 1. In order to transform a normal distribution into a standard normal distribution, you first subtract off the mean and then divide by the standard deviation. So here the mean is 0, standard deviation is 2. So we subtract off 0 and we divide by 2. What do we subtract off 0 from and then divide by 2? the very, oh, I'm pointing at the wrong thing. This value here, what we're calculating the probability at. 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 uh, divided by 2 is 1. So we need to calculate the probability that z is less than 1. And it's z because we just performed the z transform. z is less than 1. We need a probability, so let's bring up the table z less than 1. Notice the z scores are on the left side. These are always going to be less than or equal to's. How do we know? Because the area shaded is less than or equal to that z value. So we're looking for z is equal to 1. There's 1.0 1 and notice it's 0 .00, 0 at the top, so 1.00 is 0 0.8413. What does that mean? That means the probability that z is less than 1 is equal to that 0.8413, which also means that the probability of x is less than 2 is 0.8413. So when we're given a generic normal distribution, we have to create the z, you have to z transform it. Then we use table 5. Example b x is normally distributed, mean of 3, standard deviation of 9, which means that from the 2, we have to subtract off 3 and then divide by 9. Of course, we do have to change it from a greater than to a less than because the z transform tables here only deal with less thans. That's what the shaded area implies. So we have to do that first transform, 1 minus probability of x is less than 2. Subtract off 3 from 2, that's a negative 1. Divide by 9, negative 1 divided by 9 is negative 0.11. So we go to the table, we look for negative 0.11, and that would be up. Negative 0.1, second column is that 1. 4, 5, 6, 2. So the probability that z is less than negative 0.11 is 0.4562, which is also the probability that x is less than 2. So the probability x is greater than 2 is just 1, 1 minus 0.4562. 1 minus 0.4562 is 0.5442 with rounding errors. Example 3, or example C. x has this distribution, mean of negative 210, standard deviation of 13. We need to calculate this probability. Notice we've got two inequalities, so we have to split these up. This is the same as probability x is less than or equal to one, negative 195 minus the probability x is less than or equal to negative 200. 
z transform each of these, negative 195 minus negative 210 is 15. 15 divided by 13 is some number that we're going to have to look at on our calculator. And that number is 1.15. So this probability of x is less than or equal to 190, negative 195 is the same as the probability that z is less than 1.15. What is the probability that z is less than 1.15? positive 1.15, is 0.8749. See intersection of the 1.1 and the 0.05. 8749. The second probability is x is less than or equal to a negative 200. Again, the z-transform, negative 200 minus negative 210 is 10. 10 divided by 13 is 0.77. Go to the z-table, 0.77, there's 0.7, and there's 0.77, so it's 0.7749. Those are the two probabilities. Subtract them, and you'll get 0 0.9660. D. Calculate the probability x is less than negative 1 or x is greater than 1. This is just the probability x is less than negative 1 plus the probability x is greater than 1, which you can go through this to see how it's done, but Notice that x is distributed normal 0, 1, which means you subtract 0, divide by 1. So this is actually the standard normal distribution. So we need to calculate the probability that x is less than 1 and the probability that x is less than negative 1. Probability that x is less than 1, 0.8413. Probability that x is less than negative 1. 0.1587. And therefore, performing the, those calculations, we get 0.3174, which is same except for rounding. Tables will always have rounding errors, sometimes very serious rounding er errors, because they are only the values are only tabulated for z scores that are at the 0 0.01 level. It is always better, if you can, to use the Excel or StatCrunch or your calculators to get much more precise answers. So that's how you use tables, such as the one given in the back of the book, Table 5, to calculate probabilities. Thank you. Take care.